Brooks and Sucks. Sucks my Lux in Nuxy Bucks. Mux, Mux, Mux. Socks and Rocks. Rocks and Socks. Socks and Brocks and Locks and Nux. Nux and Brocks. Socks and Brocks. Box, Socks, Duck, Duck, Block, Block, Duck. Hey, welcome back to Anime Casuals. I'm Lucky. Here I go! This hand of mine is burning red! And I'm Michael. Realize the only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Johnny. Your darkness swallowed up my son? Who decided that? Opting! Burning! Now all of you... Die. Die. Three, two, one, let's do it! Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Anime <laughs> Casuals. I am Lucky. I'm Michael. I'm Johnny. And we make up Anime Casuals. Today, our casual discussion will be going a little bit differently than usual. Usually, we talk about... Uh, well, okay, we're still going to be talking about anime, but to a different extent, uh, something that's pretty, you know, special or unique to us. We're going to be talking about the pros and cons of being an anime, ca uh, anime casual, sorry, an anime content creator. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what's it like to be an anime casual? In a way, it, it's kind of what we're talking about because there are pros, there are cons to it. And I thought this would be an interesting discussion to have because sometimes uh, we don't, we don't always talk about like the behind the scenes stuff unless you're listening to the podcast. Um and, uh, yeah, so I, I figured this would be a pretty interesting one. So we're going to go pro-con, pro-con, and we're all going to give our thoughts on this because there's probably going to be a lot of overlap between us. So I figured we would just all chime in on uh, on each one. And we just got to start off with the most obvious pro in the book, which is we get to watch anime for, you know, well, eventually for a living, but basically we get to watch anime, and that's awesome. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've been, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I watch an anime due to like a recommendation or something like that. Uh, by the way, thank you, uh, Red Moon, Blood Moon, for the recommendation of Wolf's Rain. I'm definitely going to check that out. Um, but yeah, I, I get to see, watch anime and talk and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, watching anime is like the best part of it. What, uh, what about you, Michael? Do you find that as well? Uh, I, well, I do find that. Um, it's I, another positive out there is that. I, I guess it goes hand in hand with being able to talk to you guys constantly and making it a tradition to kind of get together and chat about anime together. And that's like, I think my, my favorite positive is we get to watch anime. I mean, we would be watching anime anyways, but it gives us a reason to check out all the anime in a season and really make it like fun homework. Not like, Oh God, we're going to watch like 16 seasons of anime today. It's like, no, we're having a lot of fun with it and get through it. And then I get, I know that every week I get to chat with like my good buddies mm. and like explore the anime together and really have a meat of the conversation together mm. and then have ridiculous ideas about it. Oh yeah. Nice. Um, I kind of feel the same way. Um, <clears throat> I like that it, does bring us together and i was gonna say it's nice to have kind of i mean yeah obviously we're all gonna watch anime no matter what but um to almost watch it with purpose not to put like too much into it but you know um <laughs> to be a little less <laughs> casual about <My> it purpose. <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah just to be able to do that and kind of it, i another kind of pro that i have is uh it lets me kind of it's made me look at anime a little bit differently um i start to look at different tropes different um similarities and differences and how they handle different storylines so i mean yeah yeah I, uh, there's a ton of reasons that it's uh really cool yeah so uh michael you have a con for us to talk about and or you know all that kind of stuff uh yeah I, and mine actually stems from my adhd um i constantly am terrible with deadlines and one of my biggest like same. con that's out there is, and I, you know what? Same with Lucky, but I think Lucky can actually, maybe it's due to your situation over my situation. But I'd like to say that you're just, you're a bit better with deadlines than me. Not that you're, you're getting it out on time every single time, but 
I feel like I'm consistently three days, <laughs> three or four days behind. Uh, and this time, like my last one was a week behind. Uh, and like, I constantly overbook myself and double schedule things at the same time and going, Oh, I'm so sorry. I scheduled something like on that the same day that you're supposed to be here, like three weeks ago. Um, so trying to keep up with, with making our anime channel and making it great, come up with a good ideas and really generally, you know, work and edit these videos is both a blessing and a major curse because it's really fun. It feels like a second job but i'm actually enjoying it rather than you know it being a, a pain in the butt so the biggest thing is just deadlines trying to keep up with our own deadlines that we've set on ourselves and that's the worst part if it was for somebody else i feel like I, the procrastination would be less but because it's for myself and i get to set those deadlines it's worse it's really bad mm-hmm. <laughs> my own anxiety do you, feel, do you feel that too johnny um this man i can't say i do honestly uh i'm lucky enough that you guys handle all the editing and forging of videos so uh i mean (laughs) if anything i just have to worry about i guess public speaking which Mm. uh is probably a con for me you know i uh i i can talk i just don't like to i don't know i'm a man (laughs) of few words it's true so uh doing these is a it's a challenge for me sometimes but um you know, I also understand, which is why it's also kind of a pro. Uh, it's good for me. <laughs> so I realize that. So uh, I, yeah, it's kind of a, it's an interesting kind of toss up with that one. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't, I don't have to feel so much of that, you know. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. For, uh, for people that actually don't know another behind the scenes thing here, um, we actually have a pistol laser focused on Johnny at all times. So he is forced to be here uh, against his own will and he yeah. will talk for us uh, no matter how long or short it is. So luckily we do have, you One know, we do, we do, exactly. We do have, uh, <laughs> we do have like safety DNA measures. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, you know, sometimes people need pressure, you know, a certain amount of pressure. No, I, I have a lot of that um, as well, Michael, in terms of the, the deadlines, it's, mm-hmm. um, you know, because I've done it before where, because my biggest problem is the the cognitive dissonance between me saying something and me actually realizing what I have to do. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I, you know, between doing like all the different channels, it's, it's That's like, your biggest it's, thing. Yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> all of a sudden I start to realize this deadline's on this deadline and this deadline's on this deadline. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, you know, and the, war, and actually, you know, I'll get into that one later. But yeah, deadlines is are really tough. That's why now I don't tell people. Uh, you know exactly what day something's gonna be out. Although mm-hmm. I ended, up, I remember I made the interesting. I made I made the the Jack Hanma video, and it's funny. I was like, uh, this guy uh, had had mentioned like, hey, um, uh, he he was like, oh yeah, 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 it would be really cool to see your opinion on on Jack Hanma's biting technique. And I was like, your video will be out in a couple weeks. One month and a half later, I, go, <laughs> I end up, I end up, end up uh, talking to him. I was like, hey. By the way, your video is out now, buddy. I mean, he was really cool about it, but I, I don't think he was actually expecting me to follow up on it. But yeah. I just thought it was really funny that I just came back a month later. Like, hey, you remember what that two weeks turned into a month and a half? And yeah. it, to be fair, it was during Christmas, but it was like way before Christmas. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't have any excuse. Johnny, uh, what's what's a pro for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Man, I actually kind of blew my load there in the beginning <laughs> that's a con lie. that's a con right a, there yeah. <laughs> yeah. the con is there's only one good thing about this for johnny <laughs> <laughs> no, it, was the, it was the reason and looking at things differently so i mean uh just to reiterate um yeah uh, i just uh, even even fan service you know i have to look at fan service just a little bit differently here and there uh just because i'm constantly comparing them uh and it's <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is just being able to watch so many different kinds of anime and, you know, being able to be like, for science, <laughs> <laughs> kind of loose there. <laughs> well, so. And that's actually a, a, a pro, uh, a pro for me is like, watching us all improve on our own craft. And I mean, generally for you, I mean, like, I remember way back in the beginning, um, that like you were like oh no this is this this is not like my proficiency like i don't i don't want to do this and i think for all of us it's helped us increase some things and get better at things that we wouldn't have normally through our like normal day-to-day jobs right yeah well for some of us 
Uh, <laughs> um, and I, I think that's the biggest thing is that all of our day-to-day jobs are, I think, you know, either it's something we don't like at all or it's something that we're mildly interested in. Um, not to say that my own job, I, you know, I, I like it a lot, but I mean, like at a certain time, I really wanted to quit. And I wanted to be done with it. Like the first three years, what I was doing, I was like, I really want to be done and I want to quit and I want to go find something else and enjoy it. But now this kind of like helps me work on something I enjoy and watch us all get better together. Like that's the thing is like when you're talking about deadlines, I'm like, anytime I ask you, you're like, oh, no, no, I'll get those done. And the next time I ask you, you're like, oh, yeah, I have like four, three, four videos like ready for you. And I'm like, damn, Johnny, damn. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to consume at a consistent pace yeah and that's well and that's a good thing is like like it's it's almost like i don't know because i've played overcooked so much uh it's almost like we're all <laughs> chefs in the kitchen you know like like lucky and i are working quickly on our like our, our editing our videos which is like we're, we're cooking like some bigger item not that his quality is better it's just a bigger item it's like we're working on the turkey with all the sides and the stuffing and then johnny's over here going like ah i got my apps out here we go here's some good apps and he's just throwing them out and like satiating some customers while we're going back to work on our like bigger videos at least for me um and as every other week, and I'm helping Lucky with that by, by us producing our content every week. And then Johnny's helping me by by making sure I only have to do a video like every every other week. And so it's nice because we're all like sharing together. And we didn't start off that way. We decided to like, be as crazy as possible. Oh, and when yeah. Lucky was like, hey, we're going to do two podcasts a week on top of that. We're like, no, Lucky, you're crazy. Let's do it every, every other week. You're like, no, we're doing it every week. And it's worked out really great. So another like big pro is just being able to work on our weaknesses, get better at them and be working together constantly mm, in, a, yeah. in a very productive way. Not just like, yeah, we're, we're all on the same channel, but like we help feed each other ideas. We try to do stuff together. I, like every couple of months, I try to get back into our game thing, which I like, I don't, it doesn't get a lot of views a lot, but I think it's just fun for us. To do. Like those are mm. exciting. <laughs> nice and do you think that you've uh <laughs> do you think that you've gotten a lot better johnny because i've edited a couple of your videos and it seems like you've gotten a lot more uh like it seems like i have to cut a lot less of your um your stuff than i i used to whereas like you know when we first started this out like for people that don't know i was just cutting like every other freaking sentence because we were mm-hmm. all just having these throwaway sentences if you don't know what a throwaway mm-hmm. sentence is it's just basically something that goes all off track or we all have things that we always say where mm. you know whether it be the ums whether it be the uh you know just certain things where i i, I say certain things a lot it's just like it's it just it's almost like if you think of a freestyle rapper and all of a sudden you say something they'll they'll say their name or something like that uh-huh lucky here and they say the uh-huhs and stuff that's basically what i mean by throwaway like phrases mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff but now it seems like uh you know when, at, l- at least when i'm editing my videos and stuff I, I start to notice that I have a lot less. Do you notice uh, that for you, Johnny, as well, that it's easier for you to say, uh, you know, what you mean, whereas before maybe it took you a little while? Uh, a little bit. Um, I, I, mean... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to set him up for, for success there. It didn't work out, I guess. Sorry, man. I mean, I feel like I have streamlined my stuff a little bit better. Um... <laughs> Like, hey, you know, you want it was it was a be- you home run that joke. It, it turned from <laughs> a, a setup to like something positive to a nice joke. You just knocked out the park. Oh my beautiful. god! <laughs> oh, that was. So- I'd like to say, Johnny, oh. mm, you're doing better. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. It's all about the all about the 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 baby steps, right? Well, there's actually one that I wanted to talk about. This is a. Uh, we we did a, a pro last time, right? It was a it was a pro from you, Michael. It was the um. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Yeah, I, I think it was. We actually yeah, talked about. Pro. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is this is actually kind of contradicts my very first one. Is that I have to watch anime. So for people, you know, that are. <laughs> that oh, I get are, you. I get you. I that get are you. are listening, uh, or that only watch the YouTube channel. I also run the podcast, uh, like a six a day a week podcast. And Doctor one of the things Stone that, season two. And, Doctor yeah, Stone season two. <laughs> that's probably gonna have to be one of them at some point. Um, <laughs> one of the problems is like I'm watching this this show called Deno Coil that just came out on Netflix, and you know I, I just kind of was like, all right, we're gonna watch that, and I try and do a new anime every single every single week uh, on Saturdays, and I review it. Um, 
but man, dude, it, it like the first episode was painful, and then you know I want to do all these other things. Like, hey, I really want to play video yeah. games, and I know. By the way, this is like first world problem one hundred and one. By the way, I just want to make sure that's very clear. Um, but at the same time, like I, I find that I'm just watching anime, and I'm like. I got to consume this. And usually by the third or fourth episode, like I'm totally fine with it and it's good. And it's mm. probably better for me to get through that wall, um, through force of will, uh, rather than just giving up on something just because I didn't like it. But at the same time, there are just so many times where, you know, I'll be watching, you know, an anime that I want to watch. And then all of a sudden I'll be like, oh yeah, the weekend talk's coming up. Uh, and I got, <laughs> I got to watch, you know, this, I got to watch that. And, you know, by the way, one of, one of the worst parts about that is when we pick a, a, a dud which platinum end was last season for us that was so hard to watch man it was so hard to keep watching it and like having my it, having my I'm expectations actually lost behind but yeah oh yeah, my god wow what a trooper there that's a trooper right he there but yeah well, having to watch anime is is pretty pretty uh pretty tough do you guys agree with that or are you guys have a different opinion on it no i absolutely agree I, and and i think it's because partially because of our pod our weekend talk where we we keep increasing the amount of anime we're watching oh yeah <laughs> and so like like i think both of us have felt it where we're like also because uh tokyo 24th ward comes out on was it thursdays which is the same day we record one of uh, mm-hmm. our podcasts and so it becomes like a nightmare where we're like what haven't we watched? What, what do we need to watch? Like, what, what's yeah. going on? And then there's the anime we want to watch on top of that. So we're watching at least 10, 12 episodes a week, you know, with the five to six we're trying to keep up with. And then like the five or six that we, we enjoy. And then on top of that, entertainment we want to consume. Like, yeah. Just outside of the anime spectrum, like we're watching Peacemaker and mm-hmm. like we're watching these other, uh, we're watching the Critical Boba. Role, we're watching Boba. Like, so... We consume a lot of entertainment a, a week, and in addition, we're trying to consume anime for all of you out there and trying to have a opinion on it. And mm. uh, not a strong opinion; we're casuals. But I mean, uh, like trying to help with filter out some of this anime that everybody else is trying to watch, so that way we can be like, "Hey, these are five pretty prime anime," and you can tell from us dropping platinum end that it's not as interesting of a watch so like trying to connect with people out there and trying to form a community yeah i definitely agree with that it's just it's weird i feel like i've only really noticed it like the past year or so maybe year and a half but there's a lot more anime out there and oh yeah (laughs) yeah it's definitely a full schedule and it's interesting to see which ones get dropped and which ones stick around so um yeah i definitely agree Uh, yeah. Um, since I since I actually have a list here, why don't we just uh, talk about like a couple other things, um, and then you guys can like build off of it, or if you have an adjacent one, we can do that. Um, one of the one of the other things uh, that I think what well, probably me and Michael go through a little bit more, but maybe you went through this as well is uh, opening yourself up to judgment from the world. <laughs> you know, there there is there is uh, an aspect of this where you kind of put yourself on the line. And, you know, I've had, uh, granted, since I, since I run two different YouTube channels, I've had a little bit more of it. Um, but, you know, I've had, uh, on my other YouTube channel, I've had a little bit more. But, um, you know, just people kind of uh, giving, for the most part, it's pretty constructive criticism. But it was hard for me to deal with that at first, you know. Because, you know, yeah. you, you think that you're doing okay. And then all of a sudden, um, somebody says, oh, it seems like you kind of got off topic here. It seems like you did this. It seems like you're doing that. Um and yeah, it starts to kind of, you know, when you first, I guess you know, that's kind of like the growing pains of getting into uh, exposing yourself this much, but it's still, it, it, it still like hurts to a certain degree because this is something that you want to do. And when you don't face any resistance in the beginning, it feels great. It feels, you know, you feel empowered to keep going. And then once you face that little bit of resistance, you're like, oh, everything's over. I'm, <laughs> I'm a terrible YouTuber and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, just the way that my um, overreactions sometimes happen. Also, it depends on, you know, it, you could be going through something in life and then all of a sudden you get hit with uh, maybe just a constructively criticism, uh, you know, some constructive criticism and all of a sudden it just seems like, you know, this person hates you, you know, <laughs> it's crazy. So I'd yeah. say that's like a big uh, a negative for me, especially since I, I'm usually uh, going through like the comments and read, reading all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, it can get a little bit uh, tough. Yeah, and constantly trying to be creative is also both a con and a pro. Yeah. Um, just trying to trying to think out of the box, trying to not be different, but trying to find like 
our own steady flow like what it took us like at least johnny like we were like hey you should do a fan service thing and then you were kind of unsure about it and we were unsure about it yeah. and then like we're like we gotta come up with a good name and a name is everything like once you got the name like you start flowing um lucky and i have tried like 10 different subjects and 10 different formats <laughs> for our for our stuff we've also changed the podcast a bunch of times and it, it's been fun watching us all try to find our groove and really try to get into the steady rhythm of making videos because it's always not work but it's it's work is a wrong way to describe it it's a fun creative challenge every time we try to make a video and no matter if we explode or not, like, I think it's just the fun of making videos with you guys and trying to think of, think of new things as our hobby of watching anime and having our own opinion about it. It's really making a hobby into your job. Right. Mm. And I'm sure we would all love to do that. Right. Like, like all three of us had like a steady income come from YouTube. That'd be amazing. But right now it's just fun and having fun with your friends. Yeah, what do you uh, what do you think, Johnny? Do you ever feel that that feeling of uh, of judgment, or do you do you agree with Michael about the uh, um, the creative process and kind of doing the you know all of that stuff? Um, I I'd say it's probably a little bit of both. Um, I do try to just kind of let it flow out because I know what you know my topic is. So I, and the other thing is I also I send it out in the world, you know, like releasing a dove, and then I walk away. I don't look back. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, I know uh, I know the world is a dangerous place out there with their comments and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I don't even I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't bother. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing, right? I, I feel I like anything important. I'll, I'll, I'll find out. I feel like we are our, our own best critics. Um, like I've gotten a few negative comments, a few positive comments out there on some of the videos. But I feel like in the end. Even if I see a negative comment, I will then be harder on myself than that person commented, right? Like that's co consistent. Um, where I'm like, oh, they said something like small and like slightly off, and I, and then I would be like, oh, I gotta reimagine my videos like twice as hard and like <laughs> re-edit them four times now. Um, and that's the thing is that you know we're you know. Uh, constructive criticism whether positive or negative it's always beneficial you know yeah. as long as people aren't being rude about it and i think that's the fun part right is we're all helping each other out and trying to get better and you know we also look forward to you who are listening to our podcast and watching our videos to help us get better give us ideas that you might think that we're good at because sometimes looking at it from an outside perspective is more important than looking at it from our own head because mm. yay anxiety <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think uh and then i think another one is and i liken it to cooperative games you know how, like we you know we play overwatch a lot and one of the things that happens is we're all going towards a common goal which mm -hmm. is kind of like this it, it's really interesting how it, it's interesting because i feel like our our relationship would be a lot different since obviously i moved out of state too but i think our relationship would be a lot different if we didn't have this podcast which is Very also true. kind of what i was thinking about with my relationship with our my other friend paul from casual bros is my relationship with him would be a lot different if we were just you know you know because i have some friends where we'll just text every now and then and be like hey what are you up to you know i just got a call from one of my friends the other day and hadn't talked to him in probably about a year or so or actually no mm -hmm. maybe probably before the pandemic um so you know doing this kind of it, this is a really fucked up way of saying this but it kind of forces us to be close because if we aren't then we're gonna and, and one of us is gonna end up feeling left behind or one of us is going to end up going too far forward and maybe in a wrong direction um, I know I've definitely done that sometimes where I just, I want to take this, this anime, uh, I, I want to take the, the YouTube ch channel by the reins and keep going. And, you know, as, as Michael was saying, like, let's do four videos, you know, I was saying like, I was, let's, let's do four videos a week and let's do this, let's do that. I mean, I, dude, I was killing myself in the first part of this, but it did yeah. get me better at editing. Um, but yeah, I think since we all have that, that common goal, we can kind of tell each other like, Hey, let's, let's calm down. And you know, with my, with my mental health channel, I don't have like somebody on backup to be like, Hey dude, do you mind taking this week? Because I'm going to be out of town or something like that. Like I, at least in this sense, if Michael or and Johnny are, 
busy, then I can uh, then I can take it take a you know control of it. And if I'm busy, then Michael and Johnny can take control of it. So we have that camaraderie of like going forward like a team. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely uh, <laughs> it's definitely like one of those things where I really do wonder what would happen if we didn't have this this commonality between us. Excuse me, between us. So yeah. So just talk on Xbox chat. And that's yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, are you free for Overwatch? Nah, man, I'm doing my mental health casual and my casual bro stuff. You know? <laughs> and that's the thing is like the casual empire would be completely different, right? Like yeah. um, you started mental health casual right before this? Or no, right actually, this? no, it was. Uh, so we went through a hiatus period where I was uh, drinking a lot <laughs> and uh, didn't want to do anything except for drink. And so yeah. uh, after when we first got back into anime casuals, yeah, that, okay. right about right about uh, about a month after that, I started mental health casual. Yeah, well, I mean, and that's the thing is that this is our flagship, right? Like yeah. anime casuals is our thing that all the other casual and even like casual bros offshoot your yeah. own mental health casual, which I still think is like the meat of casuals, uh, generally casual with my brother and Corey, like that all got started from this this channel right here yeah and i think that's i think that's the fun of it is that it wouldn't just be us that would be different it would be all these other ideas that'd be not non-existent or different in some way yeah. and i think that's what's important is that this this helps keep us together um and how help, helps uh, others you know keep up what am I trying to say? Uh, <laughs> it helps others get inspired. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and it's inspired others to do their own thing and, you know, be dedicated to something, even if it's just a hobby, which I think is the nicest part. Plus, we've connected with other people out there. I mean, you've definitely connected through your random adventures through the you know chat roulette or whatever. It is. <laughs> oh, Miguel. Um, and I, I think that's just fun. Nice. What do you, uh, what do you think about that, Johnny? <laughs> uh, I agree. Um, sometimes I don't. Uh, I don't always realize that. That uh, yeah, if we weren't, um, you know, doing these videos here and these uh, podcasts and talks, you know, yeah, things would be uh, probably a bit different. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I don't really want to copy everything you said, but yeah, I mean, I totally agree with what you're saying here. Yeah. Hey, you're a man of few words. <laughs> Yeah, yes. and and I think uh, I, I think that's I think that's like the last thing I have to say is just that we all get to um, express ourselves differently in this, you know. Whereas if we were working that, um, if we were all working in, let's just say something I'm, I'm used to, shipping and receiving, we'd all be doing the same menial tasks. So we wouldn't be able to, mm -hmm. like, you know, oh, Michael, I I think that we should do it this way. It's like, no, we could put the things on the truck, okay? You know, <laughs> put the things on the truck and it goes, it. right? You're yeah. Good. Right, forklift, whatever, all that kind of stuff. There's only so much creativity that can be ha that can happen in that mm -hmm. part. Whereas, you know, uh, whereas we in this thing we have different segments. You know, sometimes I go off on anime. Sometimes I have philosophical things. Michael, you have a lot of the um, a lot of the game show stuff, and then you know, kind of going into a lot like deeper into like some of the theories and also how it how it, uh, anime manifests itself into the real world. And then Johnny obviously has the uh, fan service stuff but also has uh like it's, like it, it, it's interesting because i always tell people like the way that i describe johnny is he waits for the punchline longer than people so he gets better punchlines whereas we throw out punchlines all the freaking time and eventually one of them's gonna stick whereas johnny has a yeah. much higher percentage of stick rate with his punchlines but we have a lot lower but we just throw it all out all the time so we have more so um it's it's cool to see each one of us get to uh, kind of express ourselves in that way. Was there anything else you guys wanted to add to that or like any other pros and cons you wanted to talk about? Yes. I love okay. you guys. Oh, is that a pro, a pro or a con? Or a con? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Sometimes it's both. <laughs> love comes with hate. <laughs> it's not love unless it has pain in it. <laughs> <laughs> no pain. What? The <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. <laughs> Anything you want to add, Johnny, before we head out? Uh let the no. love flow through you. <laughs> Dang, bro. You sounded like that uh what's that Hashira's the, the the love one, the with all the weird freaking hair and shit. 
with the heart eyes. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. All I just I just remember all the hot chicks were were cosplaying as one as her one year, and I was like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is what the anime the world. Worst, <laughs> yeah, right. This is oh, awful. I can't wait to see what that happens. What happens with that? But anyway, guys. Remember, you can check out all things casual at the link tree in the description box down below. Also, if you'd like to email us, you can email us at animecasuals with an S, real R E L, excuse me, R E A L at gmail.com. Thank you once again for listening to us, and uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this episode a little of a little bit of the behind the scenes. But as always, guys, don't forget to keep it casual.